Good morning, Carlson. My name is Connor Bingy. I apologize for last week's interruption. This time, I won't let it happen again. All right, let's get into it. Allison Nees, with the help of the school store, will be raising money for senior gift bags. They'll be selling certain big goods at lunch. All proceeds will go to senior baskets. If you would like to donate to this cause, please see Allison Nees. Seniors, as the wise philosopher Justin Timberlake once said, it's going to be May. So your time here at Carlson is nearly up. Please check that what your textbook, resources, or library items you have checked out under your name, and if you have any fines that go along with these items. All items must be returned and or paid for before graduation. See Mr. Frody or your English teacher with any questions. Now it is J. Oh, sorry, T. Texas Thomas with the weather this time. What's up, Carlson? It's T. Texas Thomas, not J. Rich. We don't know where he's at. And it's going to be a cool 68 degrees for the high and another cool 60 degrees for a low with a 90% chance of rain. So get your umbrellas ready. And uh, yeah, back to uh, Connor Bingy for the news. Thank you, T. Texas Thomas. Okay. Attention juniors and senior girls, anyone interested in playing Powder Puff needs to place their jersey orders by Thursday, April 29th. A jersey order form and payment must be must accompany your order. See your class sponsors for a form. To place a jersey order, see Mrs. Foreigner in classroom 224A. If you are a junior, seniors, see Mr. Bechtal in 24A or Mrs. Fountain in 22A. AP students, please make your test payments to Mrs. Walter ASAP. Texting begins, testing begins next week. Seniors, check out our class of 2021 Senior Stories podcast on Spotify. It is a podcast of funny stories from right here at Carlson. Also follow Carlson Media, digital media on Spotify and stay up to date on all our class podcasts. Would you like to run for 2021 to 2022 CHS Student Council? If you have a 2.5 GPA or above, you are eligible. Complete the Google form. It will be shared on Twitter and in our classes via Schoology. All nominations are due by 1.50 p.m. on Friday, the 30th of April. Any questions, see Mr. Fioti or your current class president. Seniors, please respond to our survey that we sent you to you regarding the 2021 senior video. We need videos, specifically highlights of this school year. We don't need baby pictures. We want group photos of the photos of great times during your year here at Carlson. Thank you, Carlson, and have a good night. My name is Commander Bingo, and I'm here to stop you from underage drinking. You think underage drinking is cool? Heck yeah. Roar. Underage drinking can disrupt your growth rate and harm your vital organs. Someone's caught my 12-year-old underage soldiers underage drinking. And you know what I did? I broke them all. I don't want to see you stop until your body bleeds. So, sir, it's too fast. Faster! Ah! Underage drinking. Don't do it. My name is Bethany Hamilton. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Kauai, Hawaii. I started surfing um, technically when I was in my mom's womb. So I mean, I've always just grew up at the beach, hanging out, surfing, and doing little fun contests. And yeah, I just loved it. <laughs> The 13, I finished second in the under 18 nationals, which is like the biggest competition for under 18 amateur surfing, and um, so that was a huge result. From that point, I was like, kind of like, okay, this girl means business. Like, I was like heading towards the pro tour, like, I was gonna be a pro surfer. And then that next fall is when I lost my arm and it was like, whoa. It was a gorgeous day in Hawaii and I went surfing with my best friend Alana and her dad and brother and um, the water was just perfect glassy blue ocean and the waves were kind of small but just wanted to get wet and um, just hanging out there waiting for waves and 
all of a sudden a shark came from nowhere. I didn't see anything and just took my arm and like that. And um, from that point, I just focused on surviving and you know, my friends were there by my side helping me get to the beach. Kind of crazy to see how that turn of event like has changed my life dramatically, but at the same time, I'm still a professional surfer today, living the dream I've always wanted to and accomplishing more than I ever dreamed of. <laughs> A lot of the good surfers that I grew up surfing with and um, that were my age, um, some of them did choose to do drugs and for me it wasn't really a hard decision not to because I saw the negative effect it had on them. One particular girl who I really looked up to, she's an amazing surfer and she chose to get into this drug scene and she lost it. She just. I still see her every now and then and my heart just breaks just knowing that she was so talented. She was that one that like I wanted to surf like her and I saw her just um, lose that love and passion and um, natural ability. From what I've seen it's like I see people start with weed and you know, they almost become like a slave to it and you see them kind of lose their drive in life. Like they just kind of get stuck in a rut of like just smoking weed and just kind of living it day by day and spending all their money on that, wasting their money, wasting their life. And then they eventually get bored with weed and a lot of times end up dabbling with other drugs and then it just goes downhill from there and just so unappealing to me. go through hard times in our life and you know it might not necessarily be losing your arm to a shark maybe it just struggles in school or family issues or whatever it is um, don't give up like just find your passions and your joys and things that motivate you and inspire you to live a full life and shoot for those and keep pushing forward towards the light at the end of the tunnel and rather than giving up I'm Bethany Hamilton and my natural highs are surfing, hanging with friends, family, um, my love for God, living a healthy lifestyle and just smiling.